Question, what are the various types of VISM datasets? Answer. Different VISM datasets available in mainframes are Entry sequenced datasets Key sequenced datasets Relative record dataset and Linear dataset Question, how many ways VISM will identify records? Answer. There are three ways that VISM will identify the records. They are, using, key, RBA, or via RRN. Question, what is IDCAMS? Answer. IDCAMS is the Access Method Services Program. In batch job slash JCL, you can run the IDCAMS program and supply AMS commands through Sysin. It is used to define the cluster, copy the data into other clusters etc. Example, define, repro. Question, what is control interval? Answer. Control interval is a unit of information that VISM transfers between virtual storage and disk storage. The following diagram illustrates the internal structure of control interval. It consists of record area, free space, record definition area, and control interval definition fields. Question, what is the minimum and maximum size of control interval? Answer. The minimum size of a control interval is 512 bytes. The maximum size of a control interval is 32K. Question, what is free space? Answer. Free space is a part of control interval area. It is used to insert new records in a VISM data set. What is the main difference between primary key and alternate key? Primary key values must be unique, alternate key can contains duplicate values. Question, what is control area CA? Answer. A group of control intervals formed together is called control area. Question, what is a VISM cluster, index set and sequence set? Answer. The following diagram illustrates the VISM cluster contents. A cluster is a combination of data component, index and sequence set of the VISM data set. Data component contains the data part. Actual data records are present in data component. Index related informations are present in index component. Index set has multiple levels with pointers to point the sequence set. Sequence set points to the control area and control interval of the record being accessed. Sequence set consists of highest record key of each control interval is stored here. It consists of primary keys and pointer to the control interval of the data component. Question, what are the possible organization and access modes for KSTS file? Answer. Organization is indexed. Access can be sequential, random or dynamic. Question, what is the COBOL record key clause? Answer. Record key in the select clause is used to identify the primary key value. Question, what is the valid open mode to rewrite the VISM file? Answer. IO mode. Question. What is the purpose of start command for KSDS? Answer. Start command is used to place the pointer in a position so that when we issue read next, it will read the record sequentially after the pointer. Question. What are the three levels of definition for the VISM define? Answer. Define cluster, data and index. Question. What is the use of define model parameter? Answer. It specifies an existing VISM cluster entries to be used as a model for the new VISM entry being defined. Question. What is a LDS? Answer. LDS stands for linear dataset. It is commonly used in DB2 system. This type of dataset is rarely used in mainframes. Question. What is the difference between LDS and ESDS? Answer. 
ESTS maintains control information but LDS does not maintain the control information. LDS data set is used in DB2 but ESTS is not used in DB2. Question, what is Share OPTS? Answer. Share OPTS is a sub-parameter of define. It specifies how an object can be shared among users. Syntax is share OPTS of a space B. Where A is a cross-region share option E, how two or more jobs on a single system can share the file. B is a cross-system share option E, how two or more jobs on different operating system can share the file. Question, what is the usage of share OPTS 1.3? Answer. Share options, 1.3 is the default value. One specifies the data set can be shared to multiple users for read purpose. But only one user can perform write operation. Three specifies the data set can be fully shared. Each user is responsible for maintaining both read and write integrity. Question, what is KSDS? How do you define a KSDS? Answer. Key sequential data set has three components. Cluster, data and index. We must code define cluster with data and index component details. Question, what is the difference between sequential files and DSDS files? Answer. APS can be created in tape. An entry sequential data set cannot be created in tape. Unit of transfer is block in PS. Unit of transfer is control interval in ESDS. Select statement used in COBOL program for physical sequential file is. Select F1 assigned to DD name. Select statement used in COBOL program for entry sequential data set is. Select F1 assigned to as DD name. Question, how do you load the VSIM data set with records? Answer. Repro command is used to load the data. Question, how do you get the catalog information of VSIM file? Answer. Listcat command is used to get the catalog information of a VSIM data set. Question, which type of VSIM data sets we can have alternate index? Answer. We can have alternate indexes only for KSTS and DSTS but not for our RDS. Question, what is VTOC? Answer. Volume table of contents is a data set created at volume initialization. It describes the type and location of data sets on the volume. Question, what is use of verify command? Answer. Verify command is used to close the data set correctly. The example of verify command is given here for the reference. Question, what is the purpose of the file status clause in the select statement? Answer. File status field identifies status code of each input-output operation for the file. Common VSIM error codes are. Error code 10. It indicates end of file. Error code 22 indicates the duplicate key found. 23 indicates record not found. The value 90 indicates VSIM logic error. Question, what does a file status of O2 honor VSIM indicate? Answer. Duplicate alternate key. You can get this status code for both input and output operation. Question. What is difference between repro and export? Answer. Repro command is used to copy VSIM to VSIM or PSS to VSIM file. Export command is used to take the backup and recovery of the data set. Catalog information is exported along with the data. So cluster deletion and redefinition is not necessary during the import step because the input data set already contains catalog information. Question, what is the purpose of alter command? Answer. Alter command is used to modify the attributes of the VSIM data set. Question, 
How ESTS used in CICS? Answer. CICS online application can get access to record through RBA. Each transaction records are added at the end of the dataset. RBA is stores as internal form for each record. CICS reads a record using RBA value. Question. What is the use of key ranges parameter in define cluster command? Answer. It divides a large data set into several volumes according to the key ranges specified. This increases the performance. Example. Key ranges 00000001299 00005999999 Question What is a Vesum slot Answer Relative record data set consists of a specified number of areas called slots Each slot is identified by a relative record number RR in indicates the relative position of each record in the file Question What is the use of RLS Answer. RLS allows concurrent access to the VSM data sets at record level. It also maintains data integrity. RLS supports KSDS, ESDS, RRDS data sets. Question. What will happen when you open an empty VSM file in input mode? Answer. In batch job, you will get a file status 35. However, you can open the file using FileAid or File Manager. Question: What is an alternate index? Answer: Alternate index is a VSM data set that allows to access the records by using key other than primary key. Alternate index key can have duplicates. It can be defined for both KSTS and ESDS. Question: What is a path? Answer: a path is a file that allows you to access a file by alternate index. The path provides an association between the alternate index and the base cluster. Question: What is the upgrade set? Answer: Upgrade is one of the parameters to define the alternate index. It is used to specify that the records in alternate index are updated automatically. Whenever the base cluster is modified. Question: How do you calculate record size of an alternate cluster? Answer: Record of an alternate index for key sequential data set is calculated as 5 plus alternate index key length plus n into primary key length of base cluster. Record of an alternate index for entry sequential data set is calculated as 5 plus alternate index key length plus n into 4. Question, how many alternate indexes you can create for a base cluster? Answer. Maximum of 255 alternate indexes can be created. Question, what are the disadvantages of using alternate index? Answer. Alternate index consume more CPU time for I.O. operation because it access records by alternate key which require more I.O. In addition to that, VSM searches the key from the alternate index and then it searches the control interval information. Question, how to refer alternate index in a COBOL and JCL program? Answer. In the JCL, you must have DD statements for the cluster and for the path. Example of select statement in COBOL has been mentioned below. In addition to the cluster statements, you have to include the state for alternate index. Look at the alternate record statement for the reference. Question, I do not know how many records are present in the VSM file. How to read last record in VSM file? Answer. Move high values to the key of the VSM file and the issue read next command. Then give read prev command. This will read the last record. Question, how do you fix the out of space issue in VSM? Possible answer 1. 
Define new VSIM data set allocated with more space. Use IDCAMS to repro the old VSIM file to new VSIM data set. Delete the old VSIM data set and rename the new data set with the original VSIM data set name.